feeling good about it. Depends on the mood. Anything that can make you dance. Fast beats, definitely. I've always liked anything that's new, um, and I don't like dwelling in the past. It gets you going, it gets you dancing, I guess. Pop rock. Punk and psychobilly and rockabilly and a lot of um, experimental kind of music. Ska particularly is my favorite, but I also like classical music, jazz, and world music. A little bit of classic rock. I love oldies. Rap and R&B. I like a lot of acoustic music. Acoustic guitars and show tunes. A little bit of rap. Hip hop. Pretty much everything but country. I don't think I have a favorite band. I like my band. She likes her band. There are some of my favorite bands that like Beat Happening. Destiny's Child, a little Danity Kane. I like the Eels. Josh Groban. I like They Might Be Giants. Depeche Mode, Green Day. I like the Fiery Furnaces. That Beyonce. I like the Walkman. 311. I like the Molly Peaches. Oh, American Hi-Fi. I like Neutral Milk Hotel. A broken Social Scene, The Books. I like Mates Estate. I like um, Christina Aguilera. Yeah, I like her. The Cure, um, Catch-22. Um, just to name a few, I suppose. I'm really into the horror pops and necromantics, Dropkick Murphys. Mogwai and Colin Joseph Gleason. I like Alicia Keys. I love Alicia Keys. I like Alicia Keys. The Faith. Lots of Christmas stuff. Foo Fighters. Vivaldi, um, Duke Ellington. I, I like, like Prince. <laughs> oh God, are you serious? I love Prince. <laughs> I like Chris Aguilera and um, I like music, Sarah McLachlan. Um, I don't know, a bunch of random things. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come, you can't hide. Gonna find all your senses. I would say like all of them really. Hearing. <laughs> it's very loud. Unless you're going to like a piano concert, but it's uh, so it's your ears. <laughs> your hearing, sound of course, the concert, the music, the acoustics, surround sound, but real. I mean, you're hearing like the bands, and you're hearing all these other people, and they turn it up so loud that it just blows your brains out. Um, sight. There's a lot of effects. You see all these things that you know you may have not have seen before. If you close your eyes, I guess, your vision, maybe. Sight, kind of, I guess, like, your mind's eye, maybe, like, because certain music can just kind of, like, take you on a journey. Like, my brain gets all, like, get all dreamy and everything. Definitely smell. People smell bad when you're all, like, close together. Normally smells pretty bad, because there are a lot of people. Like, smoke and just sweat. And, and you have all these, like, sweaty people, so it's, like, all these different smells, and... Well, smell because of the sweaty people around you. You feel it physically because there are people bumping up against you. Touch, I guess, because you're constantly bumping into people. I don't really think music affects your taste. Unless it's that <laughs> scream out, then it's like, Bleh. And so it's really, I mean, it's pretty interactive with all of your senses. Scary, a little bit, yeah, but do that. Uh, well, everyone's always trying to make sense of everything. Yeah, because it's all poetry. When I listen to music, it definitely triggers emotion. You put all your emotion into that song. What you can't put into words, you kind of put through music. Music is a big percentage of life. Your moods change. Like maybe a minute and a half into each song. Go from something like that's really like and then just go from something like that. You know, someone has gone through something I had gone through, whether it be good or bad. They go through the same shit we do. We're all human, you know what I mean? So same time you're feeling sad or mad about something, they just wrote a song about it. A song that you and your ex had together, like you'll have that feeling and you'll be like, oh I freaking hate that guy. Say this girl, she's leaving her man. Then gives you like confidence because she's singing about having confidence. I'll get into an argument with my girl and then like an intimate song talking about your girl will come on as soon as I put it in shuffle. So I've made a backstory to almost every song that I love. You go through hard times, you go through happy times, you're gonna have that song for it. 
because then you feel what they're saying if you're paying attention to them. Mm -hmm. I guess music is almost like the words that you can't say. Then you relate to whatever you're listening to. Like it would play some of the same stuff like again and again. I'm like, man, the shuffle should be shuffling a little more, man. You just feel that way, like, oh my god, my my iPod knows <laughs> how I'm feeling and my iPod's trying to cheer me up. Are you ready? Are you yeah. Ready? Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. I'd like to take a minute just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. In West Philadelphia, born and raised. <laughs> so. <The> playground. <laughs> That's where I spent most of my days. Chilling out. You said chilling out, Max, and relaxing all cool. So when I was shooting some b ball outside out of school. Been With a couple, couple of guys. They were up to no good. good. I got it one little fight. My mom got scared. She said, "You moving with your auntie? With your auntie and you going Bel Air? Some auntie and uncle in Bel Air? Right. The way he broke it down. I was for a cab and when it came near. Lessons said fresh and it had dice in the mirror. If anything, I can say this cab was here. But I thought, man, forget it. Your home's to Bel Air. I pulled up to the house about seven or eight. I yelled to the cabbie, yo, home sweet. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> and I looked at my kingdom. I was finally there to sit on my throne. It was the Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. Cabbie.